haven't vlogged at all today I completely was just like in the zone with work so I went with it and I didn't pick up the camera sorry about that but basically I have been editing a video I've answered a ton a ton of emails like I was so behind with them and I feel so bad but when I'm feeling rubbish it's not something that I want to <laughs> get into doing Jack's dad has been over today sorting out some of the stuff downstairs with the house they've been downstairs doing all that whilst I've been upstairs working and now Doggo is on the floor having a chew on her chew and I am up here trying to get my Black Friday banners sorted. So yeah, I need to get them sorted and ready to go for tomorrow. And I'm just gonna do a, like one sale going from Black Friday through until Cyber Monday, just to keep things easy. <laughs> this has been really fun to do. I've been um, taking, I mean, some of these are awful. And I've got some really, really cute ones and then I've just been date stamping them at the bottom. And I think I'm gonna pick some of my favorites and make a little collage for one of our frames in the living room. I love this one of Jack and Bonnie because she's chewing on his hand or like biting his hand and his is like nibbling her elbow. <laughs> Last night we had torrential rain and our house started leaking again. And this is a photo, it's really hard to see because I had the flash on, but Jack's up at the window with towels and Bonnie's standing there watching him. <laughs> I win. Well, where the hell is it? Find me the blue tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I found the blue tree. I put it on my blue hat. So I have my blue tree here on the wrong thing. And I was still searching for it when I should have been searching for this guy. Hey, Bon. What do we? I just got back from town. We have had a crazy busy morning, crazy start to the day. I took Bonnie to the vets this morning um, just to have her checked over because she's just finished a season but her butt area <laughs> hasn't shrunk. She's been in season for a month-ish now. So I just wanted to check everything was okay there. The vet advised if it's not gone down in a month's time to bring her back. And I also asked about getting her spayed and stuff when the best time and everything. So. She's all good, she's all sorted. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got from town. I posted one order that I had, ooh, that was going to Canada. So my main reason for going to town was to get advent calendars. Last year I left it too late. We had dairy milk, which was all that was left. And I was hoping that this year I'd be on top of it and be able to get a galaxy one, which is the one that I love. Considering there's still a week till it's December, I thought, you know, there's gonna be a decent selection of advent calendars available. I went to Morrison's, I went to Tesco's, none of them had any advent. Well, they had some, but they were like the cheap chocolate advent calendars, which I do not want. <laughs> no offense if you like the cheap chocolate advent calendars, but I was rooting for a Galaxy one and was massively disappointed. So yeah, I was looking online as well for Morrison's and they are all out of stock on there as well. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna get an advent calendar this year either. But I bought a backup plan. <laughs> First of all, with Morrison's though, I picked up some charity cards. I do have a lot of Christmas cards that I can use, but I like to pick up at least one new pack per year. And I think these were a pound for 10 cards. And there's this design with the Father Christmas. And then you can't really see it, but there's a design with a Christmas tree and presents. I saw these as I came in and I was like, Oh my goodness, they're adorable. I thought I'll go around the shop, pick up things, because I didn't pick up a basket, I pick up things that I need. <laughs> um, and if I have the hands at the end, then I'll go back and get him. I had a spare hand, so I went back <laughs> and picked him up. It's obviously just a 
planter with a little red plant in so it can be reused next year i don't know what plant this is though it doesn't say what it is it just says arctic polar bear indoor ceramic planter and on the back it just says arctic polar bear yeah they had this one and they had just a polar bear head that was a bit bigger they had a white fox which was similar to this um and something else as well but i can't remember what <laughs> i got some of these to try because they were on offer i got some bananas and this was my backup plan <laughs> this was on offer for three pound i was like the advent calendar is one pound fifty and for most of that you're paying for like the cardboard part if all else fails i can just have a square a day or maybe two <laughs> on the run up to Christmas. I need to put her bandana back on. I've been putting her bandana on. I've worked out she just does not like jumpers. I don't want to force it into them. But she's just not a happy doggo when she's in a jumper. So I'm rooting for the bandanas instead. She seems happy enough with bandana, so. Instead of spending my afternoon cracking on with loads of work, I did a bit of work and then I ended up tidying my office. I wiped down the windowsill and removed her cushion cover because obviously she's been in season so I wanted to make sure everything was fresh yeah it feels so nice to have like clear floors <laughs> apart from that stuff over there that's obviously my camera that gets moved about so it doesn't really have a home that is a load of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper that I need to find a new home for I've been trying to give it away it's difficult because I can't really send it it's really awkward to send that's just sitting there being well taking up space more than anything the box on top is a planner I need to sell this is my last box <laughs> from moving that needs to be unpacked. It has my knitting and crochet stuff, my Instax camera, case and film and album and everything. And then there's a load of organza bags in the bottom which I need to find something to do with. Then I cleared my desk and wiped it down and everything as well because there's loads of paint splodges on it. <laughs> I've had one of my little uh, cereal bars. And I'm yet to figure out what to do with these that I bought in the Amazon Black Friday sales. This is a massive watercolour set and it was 89.99 or something or like the rrp is that price but it was on the black friday sale for 23 pounds which i thought was really good considering the amount of colors you get so i feel like these are kind of your basic colors and then my prima ones are more of the unique colors and then this was down from 20 something pound to six pound something and i've wanted one of these since my brother got one he got one for christmas one year he got the junior version i think it just makes those labels it's not like the printed one it's one where you stamp it or punch it i could obviously print what i wanted to in that style on to paper but there's something about having it as like a plastic strip with the lumpy letters that is just really satisfying and you can't really beat it so yeah, Jack said he might buy this one off me and then give it to me for Christmas, but we'll see. I now really need to edit the vlog from the start of the week and get it uploaded tonight at some point. Just started tipping it down, like quite badly. And we've just had some people on the roof um, trying to fix our roof. And that's not a good sign. It's not rain, that is hail. Um, let me go and put, oh god, where have we put the towels? The towels are in the wash. <laughs> uh. So I don't know if you can see up in the corner those two dark patches, that's where it leaks. Oh wow, look, it's proper icy hails. I think that's the first time there's been hail since I've been living here. I don't think a grit has been along in a couple of days either. So that will be fun. This is like a main road. Right, I'm going to close this, try and make it a bit cosier. That sky looks like it's going to snow bad. This was my attempt at trying to remove the uh, beanbag cover. It didn't work. <laughs> That's as far as I got it. Like I was shaking it for ages and it didn't grow any bigger than that. Doggo, what's happening? What is happening?
it is Sunday today and it's the day of the sponsored walk. This morning already hasn't gone to plan. I am meant to be meeting Rachel at 9.30. So I got up at 8.30 to sort Bonnie. It doesn't usually take that long at all. Turns out she pooed in her crate overnight. First time she's ever done it. And I reckon it's because I didn't hear her call out last night. If she doesn't go before she goes to bed, she usually calls out at about three o'clock or something. And then I go down and let her out and put her back to bed. I didn't hear her or she didn't call out, I don't know. And she pooed in her bed. So that was fun to clean up in the morning. Luckily, she didn't roll in it. She literally like pooed, covered it up <laughs> with the blanket. I've had to push back the time that we're meeting. The washing machine is about to take off. Um, yeah, I've had to push back the time that we're meeting to about 10 because I am not going to be ready. It has rained this morning. I'm hoping it's not going to rain the whole time that we're walking. I need to dig out my wellies. I don't know where I've put them. <laughs> um, and then we're going to get going. I have really windswept hair. It was full on, raining, tipping it down, freezing, muddy, an intense walk. And this little pudding has had a bath and is now really, really shivery, aren't you? But we're trying to warm up. I'm going to put the TV on. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, we might be napping instead. <laughs> it was a really good walk though. Um, I've missed going on the walks around there. Obviously, we've not been for a couple of weeks because she's been in season. I kept her on the lead just in case. I did manage to hit my target of £100. I think I went just over it as well, which is amazing. So thank you so much to everyone who's donated. I'm not sure how long it stays open for, but if it's still open, it will be linked below. <laughs> Riley ended up wearing the uh, cape because Bonnie just does not like it. Um, and Riley doesn't mind it so she wore the cape she represented for us I do want to say a massive thank you to Rachel for coming with me as well um no let's not go for the cheese grater thank you very much missy 